There's nothing like a ride across the Rio Grande on the tiny ferry at Los Ebanos, Texas, the last hand-pulled ferry left along the U.S. southwest border. A long steel cable anchors the ferry to this 200-year-old ebony tree. The town is named after these majestic trees. Winter Texans take the ferry for Quick Johnson to Mexico, just a buck 25 round trip, but locals depend on it. The nearest international bridge crossing is 60 miles away. The Chalan, as it's known in Spanish, has been a family-run business since the 1960s. Even pulling the ferry is a family affair. Two sets of brothers, all cousins, provide the muscle for its 50 trips a day. Gabriel Becerra Soto has been at the ropes for 14 years. You have to grab the rope tight and then throw all your weight back as you pull hard. It's hard work. Look at the calluses. If you use your gloves, your hands just slip off. The fate of this tiny international port is unclear as the Department of Homeland Security moves ahead with plans to erect 370 miles of border fencing before the end of the year. Last December, the government contacted landowners to the east and west of the ferry crossing, seeking unlimited access to start surveys for the new border fence. Pamela Rivas refused. She's now being sued by the government. I don't think that is right. You know, it's a dictatorship then, it's not a democracy. More than 70 other riverfront landowners are also being sued. If the fence does go up, some people may feel safer. But others say it will divide this stretch of the borderlands in a way the river never has.